Hello and welcome to Imola for round two of the South African Sim Single Seater 3 Series. We're in for a very exciting race, I think. Uh, this track is 4.9 kilometers in length with 17 corners. The fastest ever lap was by Michael Schumacher in 2004, driving his Formula 1 Ferrari with a lap time of 1 minute 20.411. Uh, these cars will do about a 1 minute 45 in qualifying um, setup. Uh, this track is one of the very few international circuits to run anti clockwise. Uh, it lies 80 kilometers east of the Ferrari factory in Marinella. It plays host to the following championships the World Superbikes, the World Touring Car Championship and the Le Mans series where it hosts the six hours of Imola, of course. Dennis Mitchell had a very successful qualifying session putting his number 42 SH racing car in pole position. Struggled in round one due to technical difficulties but he uh, seems to have got it right for qualifying for race one of this round. Steven Pulser starts from P2 for Ever Limit Racing. Much better qualifying for this race than what happened in round one. His teammate Jason Absmeyer starts in P3. Round one double winner Bashir Jadwat starts from P4. Seems to be struggling around this track. Let's see if he can come right during the race. Goes to work 3.0's Marcus Stain starts in P5. The squadro Goes Works Jonathan Benz starts from P6. Nev Gaming's Robert Hart starts from P7 in his striking green and black livery. Yastio Ragube starts in P8 for Team Roku. Hippo Rock Racing's Craig Hume starts from P9. The second of the Ghost Week 3.0 cars, Chris Brown, starts from P10. And the first of the JVR Ghost Works cars starts in P11. Willem van Sale. His teammate starts in P12. Johannes Kutzier. Not a great qualifying round for JVR Ghostworks. They're looking to improve that straight away. SH Racing's Chad Cook starts in P13. One Liebenberg's replacement for this round. Eric Jacob starts in P14. Rounding up the field will be Dean Rautenbach for Hippo Rock Racing. Bashir Jadwat will be looking to continue his winning streak from round one. We won both races. What can he do here from P4 on the grid? But the lights are on and we go, go, go. A good start. Absmeyer is also the MP3. And Pasa goes into lead under braking. He's through. Oh, there's contact behind there with Absmeyer, one of the Hippo Rock racing cars. Absmeyer has fallen back. And Mitchell has got the sheer jet right all over the back of him. You go through the Tosa corner now. Perhaps my will be looking to fight back there. He's having a look at Benz. As we go through Peratella. Jadwat looking to attack the 
Mitchell. I'm, I'm being sorry guys. Good move. Hans my also having a look now at Mitchell. With Jonathan Pence very in, in close quarters there. Hans my up the inside of Mitchell. Can he make it stick? Oh this contact. Oh looks like Jet Pot is run wide onto the gravel. And has collected Mitchell. It has not gone well. Robert Hart into the pits. We follow Bent and Drogado. He's chasing down Marcus Dane in P3 at the moment. Jason Amsbyer now back up into P2 after that incident between Judge White and Mitchell and a couple other cars I think that we did not see. Through Minerali now, great corner this. Definitely good under braking and then back up the hill towards the Alta chicane. Hume now looking to attack. Could see, I think that is ahead of him in the blue JVR Ghost Works car. Great onboard shots here. See the driver working hard. Blue Robatza. Down the main straight we go. The Hippo Rock racing cars now running line astern. Judd White is falling back now. Robert Hart down to P13 after his drive through. Eric Jacobs in P15. Doing well in his first outing, replacing one Liebenberg for Team Raku. Look at that gap that Stephen Pals has managed to open up to his teammate Absmai. Staying out of trouble, that's all it is. Keeping consistent. But can Jason Absmai come back at his teammate Pulsar? Absmai slightly quick on that last lap. Let's see if he's got the pace to continue closing the gap down to the finishing stages. His Benz runs wide there. Strange place to run wide. Anyway. Judd White has passed Rasenbach. Just before the just for Tamburello. On board now with Judd White. And we are looking at Craig Hume.
Doug White now much closer to Hume. Where will he make his move? Through Minerali now. Very close to Hume. Oh. Almost makes contacts. Contact but makes takes avoiding measures. Exiting the Alta Chicane now. And the next target is still Hume or Jadbert, of course. Hume and Jadbert now closing up on Hutsia. The blue JVR Ghost Works car. Now on the run and we are approaching Trogado corner and then through Tamburella we go. Judd right now very close to Hume's gearbox. Having a look up the inside, yes he's made it stick. Through Villeneuve. Judd right Showing great pace here. Now onto the back of Kutsia. Chad was struggling to exit Minerali well. Second time now we've seen an error. There's Hume is back past Jadwat but then runs wide and Jadwat in turn is past him again. Stunning livery, this Quadro Ghost Works car with the red and blue accent. Strong backing by Afri Host and the IDS group. Great to see in the series. As has Robert Hart here with uh, Nav Gaming and Gigabyte. Rautenbach catching some air there while exiting Tragado corner. We're back on board now with Judd Watt. It's very close to Kutsia now. Judd Watt's teammate Benz there ran wide. He's recovering onto the track. Oh, we're on board to Judd Watt. Judd Watt now on the outside of Q. I think he's passed him already. Yes, he has. Good move. It's good. See, it runs wild. Apologize, there was Jet White passing. Good. See, around the outside. Doing well in P7 so far for Team Roku. Ahead of him is Chris Brown for Ghost Week 3.0. Here he is now going down the main straight.
get past it looking very comfortable. Although, uh, although Abzma is closing the gap consistently. See the gap has visibly come down. Abzmaier clearly stating his intentions. Staying with another strong drive currently in P4. Looking to attack Craig Hume now. Hart with a tighter line there exiting Tosa. Looking for the better run up to Peratella. Where we are now. Hard running wide. It's a slightly more slippery surface on the outside. I think we've lost a bit of time actually. Hume struggling to exit Alta and through goes Hart. Capitalizing on the poor exit of Hume. Hume's trying to come back at him. No, not quite close enough. Hard able to finish the move before approaching Robatsa. Turns 14 and 15. up the inside of Pansel. Pansel is looking to come back with a better drive. Up the hill they go. Yes, Pansel has managed to hold into P11 for the moment. Benz will not give up though. Different racing lines by Benz and Fancel through the Alta Chicane, very interesting, with the same result. You can see the different uh, driving styles there. Benz seems to be a bit more aggressive than Fancel. Benz 
Vincent Pencil, now catching Pencil's teammate Kutsia, changing a three way for Oh, this is Robert Hart who's gone off at Trogado. And off goes Pencil. Dance has given that position back, so yeah. obviously feeling there was contact made. Chad Cook is looking to capitalize on that. What Bence has done, slow it down for Pansel. Lev limit racing cars up front have started the, the last lap of the race. Also managing to hold the gap to Ab's mile, although it has come down somewhat. If Palsa gets the Alta chicane wrong, Ab's mile might have a chance approaching Ravatsa. So everything to play for for Absmeyer. Entering Minerali now. Up the hill we go to the Alta Chicane. Fantastic on board shots here with Absmeyer. Pulse has got the chicane wrong. Big wobble exiting the chicane. Ken. Kim Absmeyer is very close. We enter Ravatsa now. And Absmeyer is through into the lead. Can Pulsar come back at him? Yes, he can. He's up the inside. Yes, he's repassed him. Brilliant move there. Balls to the wall action. And Pulsar will come through to take victory for race one. Very close indeed. Nail biting stuff, but he's done it. That was my takes P2 of course. Marcus Stein takes P3. Judd Watt has come back through the field. He will take fourth position. I think you'll be happy with that. Chris Brown takes fifth position. Mitchell takes sixth position. Hume takes seventh. Ruggie Bear take, comes through to take 8th position. Here is Kutsia takes 9th position for JBL Ghostworks. Top, completing the top 10 is Robert Hart for Nav Gaming. Jonathan Pence has finished in P11 just ahead of Chad Cook for SH Racing. Willem van Sel comes through to finish in 13th position. He'll be not happy with that and looking to improve for race 2. Well, that concludes race 1 of round 2 of the South African Sim Single Seater 3 Series. Please visit us at www.simracesa.co.za for further information on how to get involved with the racing. You are very welcome to join us. Stay tuned for race two. Cheers for now. Bye bye.